Hi, this is Tweek. Soon we'll be welcoming a new member into our family, and I better get to it. I want to make them a homemade gift, and to do that, I'm going to use clothespins. Trust me, it's going to be very cute, so come along. We'll have some fun. There are many things you can make with a clothespin. Now they can be fine. We got a packet of 100 of these for $4.99 in our laundry basket section in our grocery store. So they're easy to come by and then you can really have fun making some stuff with them. So what we're gonna make today is a version of this for some lucky kid to hang up in his bedroom. And here we go. The supplies you'll need besides the clothespins is some MDF wood, some hangers, and some paint little bit of glue and then we're ready to go. To make this project I first decided what pattern I wanted and drew that out on a piece of poster board then transferred it to a piece of MDF wood, cut it out, sanded it, then I gave it a coat of primer and this is how far we've got. I added the hooks now so that's easier later to add the spikes. Now we're going to add some paint. While our main coat on our dinosaur is drying, we're gonna work on the spines to decorate our dinosaur. Now these clothespins, there's several different kinds of clothespins you can get. You can get the kind that have the hinge on them that are made of wood. These come 100 to a pack for about $4.99, pretty good value. So I like the way that they come apart and I'll show you that. What I do is hang on to one side, lift it up and just pull out didn't even snap my fingers. There's two sides you can use now, and I'm choosing to use the side that has the hardware left on it. You can also pull that off to continue making something else, but this time we've got this piece, that piece. I'm gonna use these for our design today. Let's do it again. We hang on, lift up, pull away, and there you have your two sides. Save the ones you're using, because you can use them again later. So once I got these all separated, I painted them, and I only painted the top. This can take a while, depending on how many spines you want on your dinosaur, but I really like the way the, the hardware looked on that. I only painted the top because I like the effect of the two-toned spike on the dinosaur. Now that the dinosaur has dried a little bit, we're gonna add more color to him. So my main coat on my dinosaur is just about dried. Dried enough so that I can handle it without getting orange paint on me. That's nice. So I'm going to flip him around and I'm going to decorate the top of his back first. And by this I'm just going to grab some colors that I like, make some decorations on him, and here we go.
So I added a lot of paint. You get this nice little crackly thing going on, which I really like. So either use less paint, it'll dry sooner, or use more paint, you could use a hair dryer to help it along. Next, it's time for the spines. This is where the clothespins come in. I show you how I took them apart. And I'm using the side of the clothespin that has this little bit of hardware, the spring part of the clothespin. And then I painted just the top of it with all these little spines. I'm calling them spines now. And I'm going to place along the spine of the dinosaur. So here we go. So he's looking pretty cool, isn't he? A few finishing touches. We're gonna add an eyeball. Do you think that was the eye? You know what, you could paint in your own eyeball if you wanted, but I have some googly eyes kicking around. So I'm gonna add an eyeball, a little teeny smile, and then I'm going to augment the spines just to add a little more of a pop of color. And he's finished, except for we'd need some wire to hang him. I've got the hooks all set up. And if you find out what the little kid's name is, you can write it across, pick any color paint you want, and then you have it personalized, or you can leave it like this. Now this project is finished. Let me show you some of the others I did along the same lines. This is how one looks when you don't use the hardware side of the pin. And then we've got a little more decorative, the same side without the hardware of the clothespin, and that he's very nice. And then we have one more, like the one we did. Wow, look at the difference in the two. Just a little more color. You've got the same basics, add a different color, you get a different creature. That's fun, isn't it? Ready to hang anywhere you want to hang them. And we're done playing with clothespins. And, oh, I guess you found one too, did you? Drop. Okay, good boy. Oh, what's that? Yes, I did some more clothespin creatures. You cannot have it though. So if you like what you've seen here today, subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and leave us a comment because we would love, wouldn't we? Yes, we would love to hear what you think about our clothespin creatures. And then we say, see you next time. <laughs>